What is a Gantt chart? Well, that's gonna be the topic of today's video. And if you're wondering, then you've come to the right place. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you what a Gantt chart is. I'll also be giving you an example of what they look like. We're gonna be talking about the benefits of using a Gantt chart. And lastly, we are gonna be talking about when they are best used. So first and foremost, what is a Gantt chart? Well, a Gantt chart is a fundamental project planning tool that is widely used by project managers. They enable us to visually document all project tasks and activities against time, and they are usually created on a horizontal bar graph format. Now, Gantt charts are typically made up of tasks found in or present in the Work Breakdown Structure, or WBS. So what does it look like? Well, first, I'm just gonna give you a couple of pointers on it, and then I'll actually be showing you an example on screen. So do carry on watching for that. Now, Gantt charts are essentially a series of bars which represent tasks and activities and indicate their duration. Now, the positioning of each bar indicates the schedule. Thus, Gantt charts show the interdependencies between tasks and how they flow into one another across time. For complex projects, Gantt charts may plot a series of work streams that could all be taking place during the same time period. Now, diamonds are also typically visible on Gantt charts, and these represent project milestones. And vertical lines are often added to indicate the current date. Now, do consider that different project management, management tools may display Gantt charts different, differently. But nevertheless, with that all in mind, here is a Gantt chart for you to quickly have a look at. Now, as you can see, we have the time across the top, and you can see the different activities um, presented on screen as well. And as you can see, they've also been color coded. So the top um, set of activities, including the project charter or documenting the project charter or creating it, is in the kind of darker blue. The um, project definition and planning is in the dark green and the tasks related to that are in a lighter green. We also have the project launch and execution in a yellow. So you get the idea here. This is an example of a Gantt chart that has leveraged colors to differentiate the different stages of a project. Not always done, but something to bear in mind. Um, I'm gonna drop a link in the, in the description down below if you're looking to create a Gantt chart. I've got a video on how to do so in Excel. So. Um, do check that out if you're needing to create one. Uh, I just thought I'd mention that. But yeah, do consider that Gantt charts may look slightly different, but they, for the most part, they use um, this kind of, these particular, this, this particular view with bars um, across a, a timeline view. So what the benefits of a Gantt chart, you know, why would you use one? Well, they help to visually show how a project is broken down or broken up, if you like. Um, they show a clear start and end um, of dates for certain tasks and even show when milestones uh, are due to take place and they can plot the whole project duration as well. They show the relationships between tasks and they show and keep track of important deadlines and approvals and when they need to take place. So if I go back to this example here, we didn't have any milestones on here um, per se. Um, we didn't have um, approval with either, but just bear in mind that they could be present on a Gantt chart. Uh, Gantt charts also show the scope and the progress. Uh, they present project deliverables and what is required to achieve the project outcome. So it shows all of the tasks and activities that are required. And they help to simplify complex projects and track statuses. Now they also help to identify and reduce delays or risks to project success. It's essentially a map of the project. So when would you want to use one? Well, Gantt charts are used for planning and scheduling projects. They are best used by project managers, but they are also sometimes used by team leaders and executives in these following contexts. They are often used when projects require a lot of planning, when projects have a lot of tasks and activities, when a project has a hard deadline, when multiple people or teams are working on a project, when an individual wants to visually show a project overview to stakeholders, when task scheduling needs to be managed, and lastly, 
when resource capacity and workload also needs to be managed. So I hope this video is useful and you now know what a Gantt chart is. You now have a resource to go and make one should you need to in the link in the description below. So yeah, please do like the video if you like this and do consider subscribing to my channel as well. If you head over to my channel, you'll find a playlist on pro uh, project management where you can learn more about artifacts like this and other aspects of project management methodology that you're gonna want to know as well. And do consider hitting the bell button if you want to be notified of when I release new videos just like this. So with all that said, I hope you have an excellent day.